Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tyler Ruggie and today's video is going to be a little look into my first vet visit with Nova. I thought it would be good to talk to my vet and record it for you guys to help you guys learn a little bit more about the process of adopting dogs and what to look for and just different things that can happen when you adopt a dog because I do have a complication with Nova that I didn't know about, which kind of sucks, but we'll get into it. I'll let my vet talk to you guys, and then I will come back after to kind of elaborate a little bit more. But yeah, here is footage from my first vet visit with Nova. I'm gonna start by saying congratulations, Tyler, and your new beautiful girl here. We are doing a full exam on her just to make sure that she checks out. Veterinarians at the rescues usually do their own exam, but we do a second one just to make sure we don't pick out anything out of the ordinary. When you're adopting, you have to make sure you ask the right questions. So certain questions would be how friendly they are around other dogs, how friendly they are around children, how friendly they are around strangers, cars, anything any triggers that they may know of from previous history. A couple of things that um, we have found on today's exam is in her mouth, she's got a fractured tooth. It probably came from her, um, and if you wanna come in, I'll show you. Okay. So everyone can see. So right in her mouth, that back tooth right there has tartar on it and a pink hole in the middle. And that's a fracture from either chewing on something hard or even the cage because her canines definitely have problems with them. So she, this little girl was stressed being in a cage. So she chewed and then the metal line tells me that it was a cage she chewed on because that over that premolar tells me that it indeed was something metal. So she was a stressed girl but a sweet girl. So she wants a lot of love and doesn't want to be penned up. That much I can tell from her character. Yeah. Just a note, this shaved patch here, she was treated for heartworm disease and that is transmitted by a mosquito. So a mosquito bit her, gave her the disease. She wasn't on preventative, so she then got the disease. The veterinarians tested her, caught it in time, and they treated her with it. They have to use a pretty nasty injection um, to kill off what's in the system. But now going forward, we'll recheck her. So in the winter time, we're gonna see you guys back. Recheck her and hopefully she's negative because you'll have kept her on monthly preventative mm -hmm. and that'll be year round for the rest of her life. I'm good? Yeah. So again, congratulations. All right, so that was my veterinarian from Goodison in Rochester, Michigan, in case you were wondering. But yeah, basically, Nova has a fractured tooth, which is something I didn't know about when I originally went to adopt her. And it's really weird because my vet basically told me that the tooth had been fractured for a while, which means that while Nova was in the shelter, she probably already had the fractured tooth. And the vet who checks out the dogs in my shelter should have seen the fractured tooth and said something and fixed it before giving Nova to me because at the shelter, the vet comes in and checks the dogs multiple times and kind of makes sure they're completely healthy before sending them out to get adopted. Basically, what probably happened was they saw the fractured tooth and didn't want to fix it or didn't want to make the shelter pay for it so they didn't say anything or the shelter didn't say anything to me and now i have a dog with a fractured tooth and i have to pay to get it fixed so it kind of sucks like if i knew that nova had a fractured tooth before and they were just upfront with me then it wouldn't have changed my decision to adopt her like needing to fix that isn't that big of a deal it's not the end of the world but I just think it's really weird that they would hide it from me and let me adopt the dog and then take her to my own vet for them to tell me and for me to have to pay for them to fix it myself. So that's just kind of crappy, not only because like I have to pay for it, again, that's not the end of the world, but this dog had a fractured tooth with its roots exposed for probably months now and she could have gotten it pulled out and fixed and everything, but instead they left it there for her to suffer because she's probably in a lot of pain, 
When Nova eats, she goes really slow and you can tell that she's trying to chew with the side of the mouth that her fractured tooth isn't on because it hurts. Like it'd be like if your root was exposed in one of your molars and you were trying to chew kibble or something, you know, like it wouldn't feel good. So I just think it's kind of crappy that whatever vet was looking at her from the shelter wasn't putting the dog's own well-being into consideration and just fixing it. But it's fine because I'm going to get it fixed myself now. But um, basically I wanted to just be able to teach you guys what you need to look out for when you are adopting a dog, it is important to kind of do some simple checks yourself and kind of try to look at the dog's health and assess it yourself because not all shelters are good about telling you what health problems a dog may have. Sometimes they'll try to hide health problems to make people want to adopt the dog because obviously some people would be less likely to adopt a dog if it has a lot of health issues. So if a shelter is kind of like sketchy, then they might not tell you about some of the health issues the dog is having because they don't want to pay for it to get fixed and they want you to just take the dog. So it is important to do some simple checks yourself, like feeling around the dog's body and just looking around and seeing if you see anything that's abnormal and asking questions and looking at your dog's teeth. I didn't look closely at Nova's teeth when I was first adopting her because I figured that if anything was wrong, their vet would have told me, which obviously isn't the case because she has a fractured tooth. Even though the vet from whatever shelter may have checked the dog out, as soon as you adopt the dog, you're gonna wanna take it to your own vet and have them check it out because they will probably do a more thorough job a lot of the time. Not saying that the vets that are in shelters are always horrible, but you just never know. So you always want to get a second opinion. Other than that, everything's going great with Nova. She is such a sweet dog and she's so awesome. And I encourage you guys to go out and adopt dogs instead of getting them from a breeder. Of course, there are always some situations where you might want to get a dog from a breeder because of allergies or whatever. If you do get a dog from a breeder, you still want to check the dogs for health issues because a breeder can still try to hide health issues from you and you also want to make sure you're going to a reputable breeder don't get dogs from like pet stores that dogs obviously come from puppy mills or just people who are breeding dogs in their backyards like you don't want to get a dog from anywhere sketchy make sure it's a reputable breeder who actually knows what they're doing but for the most part it's obviously best to adopt dogs because there are so many dogs out there who need a loving home i just thought this video would be helpful for some of you who might not know the whole process of adopting a dog and what it entails because not everyone's always going to be upfront with you which kind of sucks because you would hope that the dog's well-being is in everyone's favor but a lot of the time it's all about the money which kind of is crappy I know but that's just how it is. You need to just check out the animal yourself. And this doesn't even just go with dogs, obviously. With any animal you get, you want to check it out thoroughly before actually going through with it so you are aware of any health issues it might have. I want to give a big thank you to my vet for being so awesome and finding this issue and actually trying to help me out with it and for letting me film them. I hope you guys found this video to be useful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel because I post videos every week. Check out my social media. The links to those will be in the description below. And I'll see you guys in my next video.